where they're probably kind of pitching around them, um, you know, takes it takes advantage of a hanger. So just uh, just a special season he's in the midst of. What happened with Stanton? Uh, he fouled a couple balls off his foot, um, and then that and the second one kind of got him on the top top of the foot ankle area there and um x-rays were negative so we'll just kind of see what we got but nothing to do with his his other stuff bob to the right aaron um i know you're going to say you're not paying attention but are you paying attention to judge and the, the home run record the al home run record coming into focus <laughs> don't tell me what i'm going to say <laughs> okay um i'm paying close attention to. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how can you not? I understand t today's 54, right? Sure, I'm aware of that. I guess I just, uh, he's just so equipped for it that it, you know, you know, I just kind of enjoy watching just what a great player he is. And, uh, you know, for he and I and the rest of the, you know, it's like, what can we do to get a win today? So that's kind of where I'm aware he's got 54. I'm aware of the history of the game. I love this game. I love all the history uh, of it. So I, I'm certainly aware of that. But for us, it's about the context of the game and, and just trying to win. And, yeah. yeah. When you say he's so equipped for it, can you, can you explain that? I think, you know, going back to the start of the season where, you know, I was asked about contract or as, you know, he's this season's unfolding, how's it going to be when, you know, more people show up and it's a constant conversation and he's equipped for all that. Like, I don't think it matters. Like, he is, he's focused on winning and doing his job and on, on both sides of the ball and on the base pass and challenging himself and his teammates about how he can be a little bit better um, as of a player on the margins. And, uh, you know, so that's what I mean. He's he's equipped for whatever show you're going to bring his way. Andy and Tyler. Since Stanton came back, he's been hitting the ball on the ground, obviously a lot more than is usual for him. Can there be anything lingering that creates that, or is it more just getting back into his? Yeah. Um, for being as powerful as he is, he is a guy that hits the ball on the ground and on the line a lot, you know. So even when he's come back, like so far, a lot of his – and he's probably hit half a dozen, eight, ten balls, rockets on the ground. Right. Some for hits, two today right at guys. So he's been a little unlucky in that way. And I feel like actually, you know, going into the All-Star break, you know, putting in an all-star season I, I still felt like he was even unlucky i felt like his quality of contact was really really good he tends to be because of you know how his swing is he tends to be a little more line drive a lot more one hopper ground balls and things like that so yeah he, he it has been a little bit that way since coming back but i think it's more more for g just finding that really good timing and with the x-rays negative do you expect him to have him tomorrow i don't know you know yeah we'll see we we'll go to Lindsay and then Tyler. Aaron, what does the what does the job of managing Aaron Judge look like this season? Um, um, I was asking such deep questions here in the press conference post game. I don't know. I mean, and I love having him on my team. I I love my relationship with him. Um, you know, I feel like we've we've grown a lot of trust over the years, and uh, um, you know, I try to communicate with him a lot. But when it comes to the game and stuff, it's you know, you you get out of his way a little bit and let him do his thing. He's he said a few times throughout the last couple of years that he feels he's really like learned how to manage his workload and his body. And have you seen changes and maybe sort of not? having to be as involved in that or anything like that without question and, and and i think when we talk about this season a lot excuse me bless when i talk about this season and you know where he's gone to another level as a player and i think it's experience intelligence the ability to apply things 
um, that goes with how you prepare and take care of yourself and know, know what you need to do. You know, you're, cause in a lot of ways, you know, when you're an everyday player or, or starting pitcher, you, you, you got to save bullets too along the way. Right. And because the game will wear you down mentally, emotionally, physically. So you got to learn, you know, from a routine standpoint, when do I back off today? When do I throttle down? You know, and I think he's gotten really good at doing that and, and understanding that part of it as well. Tyler. Aaron, how much do you think the Maris record means to judge? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he'll tell you. I think he'll tell you in the off season. Um, you know, I don't think he's focused on that. Um, but, uh, I think that's a conversation that he'd have with you uh, when when the season's over. We can go back and reflect. What would it mean to you, knowing baseball history the way you do? Be pretty amazing. I think when you put it up with the context of of you know where the league's at, you know, looking at what's the next guy in the American League, Jordan's got 31 homers. I mean, it, that's amazing when you put it in that context. Greg and Meredith. <clears throat> Was there something on that stand swing that made it worse when you guys went out to check on him? The one he fouled the ball off his foot. But there was one that he fouled out, out of play that he came up kind of. Oh, uh, I think it just was when he was planning. It was just, you know, bothering him a little bit. But nothing more. No, it was, it was the impact of the ball when he fouled it off his foot. And is there anything finalized with Benintendi's surgery? Uh, he's having surgery tomorrow. Yeah. Do you know a timeline on uh, Is that done for the season or? Uh, not, no, I mean, I hope not. Um, those things are always, I've had the exact surgery, um, back in 2001 and was back. It, everyone's different. Every, you know, surgery heals a little bit different. No, I think, I think it's very, I think the possibility of him returning is still in play. You just never know how, you know, surgery and, and the healing goes.